Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Caber Channel 3. And we are broadcasting for St. John in Maxville. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. And you can come and visit with us over on the south side of the square where there's always a warm cup of coffee waiting for you and warm friendly faces and voices. So today is Wednesday, and it is the last Wednesday of October. It's October the 30th. And the overriding pattern of today's weather is that of a storm system that is coming out of the Rockies. And it, as it sweeps across to the east, and it brings with it a very low uh, pressure system, and that will continue today, Wednesday, and also tomorrow. And it brings with it some heavy rains in places and some thunderstorms um, all the way all through eastern Kansas. Uh, they could see rain up to one to three inches. And the, the thunderstorms could become strong in some places, pr producing um, damage in wind gusts. And some areas will be under fog during the day. But right now in the square, after some early morning rain, it is damp and it's almost drizzling in the um, air. Uh, and the skies are cloudy, overcast, and it's a cool 47 degrees uh, with a relative humidity of 95%. The winds are coming in from the north, northeast at just about 5 miles per hour. And for the next six hours, we can expect it to remain cloudy with the temperatures rising very slowly. It has hardly risen since the morning, early morning hours to the upper 50s. And for the rest of the day, um, there's a 50% chance of rain with 81% humidity at least. And it will remain mainly cloudy uh, for the afternoon highs to come in right at 65 and tonight it will still remain partly cloudy. The skies will be cloudy this evening and it could be followed by occasional showers overnight as the low goes to the 44s, 40, 44, 45. And the winds may pick up to just about 10 miles an hour and coming in from the north and still that 40, more than 40% chance of rain now. Uh, Thursday. Thursday morning, it should be cloudy, but we should see it beginning to um, sun, some sunshine in the afternoon as the highs go to about 6 to 6 and the lows to 40, and the winds coming in from the north northwest at 16 miles per hour. And on Friday, it, the high should be 6 to 7, the low at 36, the winds uh, northwest to be at 18 miles per hour, and it should be quite sunny for most of Friday. Saturday, um, the wind would shift somewhat, um, coming in from the south southwest, and the temperatures would be pretty much like Friday, six to seven degrees high, and the lows at thirty six. We have no birthdays today, so um, we will have some more for the end of the week or the beginning of the week, but not for today. Today, though, over at Maxville at 5 p.m. at the Grace United Methodist Church is a church supper, and the church is putting on the supper to support the purchase of a new um, system. And on the menu, there's be, be some succulent roast beef, some savory cheese potatoes, some green beans, and um, a delicious pies, breads, teas, and coffees. And your generous free will offerings and donations will be accepted. And so the Grace United um, Methodist Church, the supper is to support efforts to acquire a new sound system. So do mark that on your calendars. It's right at 5 p.m. today. Visit the um, uh, Maxville Grace United Methodist Church. It's a good day for some good roast beef and potatoes. Sounds great. And tomorrow, it is the annual Halloween carnival at the Saint John of the Saint John USD 350, and they will be having that in the Stafford County Annex from 3:30 for 4:45. Um, it will 
the event is geared for the little ones, at least the kindergarten to sixth grade. And it promises to be a lot of fun for the kids. Uh, they'll have games and prizes and uh, and of course they'll have their Halloween bag of treats. So do get call over there at five four nine six five four nine if you need some information. But it's the annual Halloween carnival for the church for the children. And mark your calendars. Um, for Friday, um, November the 2nd, it is a Pamper Your Passion um, Day. And this um, event is to support the Relay for Life. Uh, this is a fundraising for them, and it's being held at the, Saint, the Stafford County Courthouse Annex at 210 East Street. Uh, and this is a great opportunity to get a jump start on your Christmas shopping. There will be lots of vendors over there, and the vendors will have different Christmas items, home decors, um, original gifts, ideas, cards, jewelry, and there's also be a bake sale. So do call Bob Alpers at 620-458-4000 or Marilyn Hitz at 620-458-4411. And that is on Friday this to support the Relay for Life at the Stafford Courthouse Annex. Mark your calendars also for November the 6th, and that is when the Maxwell Christian Church, they will be having their soup, supper, and bazaar. And it is at 5 o'clock. And again, there will be a free will donation. There's no charge, but they will accept your free, your generous free will gen donation, I like to say. And there will be chicken noodle soup, homemade pies, and uh, there's also be a raffle for a $100 meal bundle raffle. And you can get those tickets, six for $5 or a dollar for a ticket. And if you do need your meals delivered over there in Maxville, um, call 620-348-3205. They can arrange that before the day. Look forward to that. And if you're an older adult, age 55 or above, and you are seeking employment opportunities or something to supplement your income, the Older Kansas Employment Program, its services are available to you. And it's a club that's been set up by the Kansas Employment, um, Older Kansas Employment Services. And the club offers networking opportunities to you to explore job possibilities and to encourage and support others. Uh, there's a club right here in Great Bend. They have these clubs all over Kansas, but the nearest one to us here in St. John is, in, is at Great Bend. And they meet there every Thursday from 10 until 2, and it's located at 1025 Main Street um, at the Kansas Work Center. So please call 620-225-8230 or toll free at 1-800-742-9531. For more information that's a good service that they offer for the older adults and just like to keep you in tune with what's going on and if you're an older adult or for anybody really um, as the leaves are beginning to fall this is a harbinger of the prolonged cold weather that's ahead of us and um, they are offering us some steps for preparing our home for the winter and this is a good time to check your home for any vulnerabilities for the coming winter. So some areas to um, examine are the roof, uh, to look for missing shingles, cracked, flashing and broken overhanging tree limbs and check the chimney for loose uh, bricks. And on the exterior, you can check the foundation for cracks, check low spots in the soil where water can accumulate and freeze during the winter and you can check the caulking in the siding and around the window um, and door frames also check your heating systems 
make sure the heat is being delivered to all outlets and check your filters if, if you want to change them or wash them or clean them up or buy some extra filters so you can change um, them easily when the hard winter sets in. So just sort of get ready for the winter as the leaves fall and the mornings are cooler and it stays cooler longer. So over here at the Sunflower Center for today on our menu we have some baked pollock with tartar sauce, baked potato, Japanese mixed vegetables, sliced tomato salad, and lemon-lime dessert. And then tomorrow, they'll be serving up a sweet and sour pork with steamed rice, steamed broccoli, stra strawberry mold salad, frozen fruit dessert, and on Friday, it should be chicken strips, mashed potato with gravy, and seasoned um, pies, a carrot coconut salad, that's very good, and fresh fruit cup, all very appetizing. I always like to read those menus. And over in Maxville, they'll be serving up a creamy noodle with ham today, some Brussels sprouts, roll, and um, blushed pears. And they will send us um, some menus for the rest of the week for Maxville. So do call those areas, those two centers, and if you need your meals to be delivered to you, don't forget to call in advance. And today we have a spice for life. Um, one way to improve our health is to eat a wide variety of foods, so you'll be less likely to die of cancer, heart disease, or stroke. And choosing the right spice um, not only enhances the flavor of the food, but it could add value, uh, nutritional value, and by extension, longevity to you too. So our spice for today is basil. It's a, a quarter cup of this fresh herb, um, gives you 33% of your daily need for vitamin K. It is important to have vitamin K because it helps your bone health, and that also helps your cardiovascular health and, and your cognitive health. So, and it also reduces inflammation and risk of diabetes. Uh, but be careful though if you're on some um, Coumadin or any, um, thing, any other type of blood thinners because vitamin K can affect that. But you can add basil to your sauces and it's a great source of beta carotene, uh, which is also used um, for making vitamin A. So it's a spice for life today, and our spice for life is basil. Good afternoon, and have a great rest of the day.